wish you all and your dearest happy holidays and a splendid new year. Hopefully it will be uh, for all of us a peaceful year. Uh, I would like you to be very active within our community. So to help us to promote the new tools we have and the uh, classic tools of Isocarp, like the Isocarp Regional Event or the UPAS, for example, we uh, held one month ago in Gdansk uh, an Isocarp Regional Event. Uh, was the second one. The first one was in Vienna two years ago. So please send us your proposal for such kind of events. So we are getting the results of the UPAS in uh, Mexico. Uh, Chapala, or please help us to start the regionalization of uh, Isocarp. This is uh, a new reform ongoing, and uh, that's, that's the period we're living. It's a period of reform, and we need your contribution, your help to uh, bring Isocarp to um, a new, uh, an updated level, no? uh, to make our community working better and to be more inclusive. This is what I would like to share with you because uh, the board needs your help for proposing new solutions, taking new initiatives for making our cities more sustainable, a better place to live. That's all and again I wish you a happy new year. Looking back from my vintage point as Secretary General of the International Society of City and Regional Planners, 2022 stands out for three main reasons. Reason 1. Isocarp members successfully contributed to the 11th World Urban Forum in Katowice, Poland, including well-attended training and networking events promoting more sustainable planning systems and nature-based planning solutions. Reason 2. Isocarp members and partners experienced a memorable 58th World Planning Congress in Brussels, the heart of the European Union, exchanging knowledge and planning practices on healthier cities and communities in both Global North and Global South, including a very successful Young Planning Professional Workshop, as well as uh, the Isocarp Planning Awards and the 18th Review of World Planning Practices, a must-read for all Isocarp members and friends. Reason 3. Both key events happened despite the very volatile and vulnerable situation of our Secretariat in The Hague, thanks to the dedication and hard work of our new core team. For 2023, in my view, we will need to focus on following critical objectives. Objective 1. Consolidation of the new Secretariat for a more effective and efficient operational management of the society. Objective 2. Coming to terms on the role and legal status of the Isocarp Institute for a more resourceful society. And Objective 3. Innovating our flagship activities as well as our member-to-member -to -member communications channels. On behalf of the entire Isocarp boards and the Secretariat, I wish you all a very healthy and collaborative New Year 2023 and I hope to see you in person at our next World Planning Congress. Dear colleagues and friends, 2022 was a very intense year with a number of challenges, but we got there. We had a really successful World Planning Congress in Brussels with great content on the health and well-being of people and planet and the shift in governance and economy it requires in order to get there. We had a close collaboration with a very engaged host and colleagues from the Brussels capital region. A big thank you. More than 550 participants in total, from which more than 450 were actually present in Brussels. It's also heartwarming to see that 30% of our membership, and we're currently close to 800, so it's the largest absolute number of people participating in the Congress and delegates from 59 countries exchanging knowledge and experience, it is invaluable. We also have a good healthy surplus, which will allow us, Isocarp, to continue to serve its members. And I personally experienced the enormous dedication and team spirit of our members, staff and board members involved in the Congress. And a particularly a shout of thank you 
to our general rapporteur Zeynep and her team and my core team colleagues from Secretariat, Erini and Mariti. I think all of this, there are some unique and wonderful aspects of Isocarp. Uh, they are part of Isocarp's DNA, something to cherish. Members and uh, participants are also further shaping what can come. And for example, they let us know that uh, they would like more time for debate in Congresses, and we will pay attention to this in 2023. In 2022, we also have developed new and strengthened some young partnerships, such as um, the Global Lion Cities for Children and with the journal Cities for Health, Cities and Health. This gives opportunities to our members to also contribute and learn. Uh, and our member initiative, the Community of Practice in Urban Health, uh, from which I'm part, has also been very active with speakers, award winners, game inventors, YPPs, YPP coordinators. Um, so the health of people and planning was high on the agenda and will remain high on the agenda. We will increase our co-leads for this community. But so is climate change. Um, cyber agora climate change by women and planning has challenged the status quo, while giving insights and transformative practices by women and planning leaders from different parts of the world. Women and planning are playing a critical role. And our in-person women in planning event as it took place in Brussels uh, has been building further on the first events, the first in-person events that took place uh, the end of 2021 at the uh, World Planning Congress in Qatar. And they give a welcoming and, and a safe environment for authentic sex changes among women in planning and all their diversity at intersections, ages, geographies and cultures. So with this, I wish each one of you and your families a festive season and a healthy and happy 2023. Hi, my name is Sabina Dimitriou and for those of you that maybe don't know me very well, I'm the newest edition, one of the three of the new Isaac Art Board after this year's elections. I'm talking about elections because we have had the biggest turnout. People have actually been actively engaged in Isaac Arp now more than ever. We have had one of the highest numbers of participants in a Congress ever in Brussels 2022, and that was a major success. We are increasingly seeing the need of people to come together. And I think that going and shutting the door behind, behind us and looking back at 2022, this is something that should guide us in the future. Because many people are calling 2022 now, looking back, uh, the year of the poly crisis not just climate, but also energy, wars, pandemics. Each and every one of these things are things that we are directly responsible as planners to understand, to mitigate, to help people achieve well-being and health in urban areas. We are the highest number yet of international planners, and we are a society of members. And in that spirit, I think that 2023, for us at least, should be guided by the idea of community and communion and jointly growing as a society, jointly growing on a personal level and jointly growing for our cities. With this in mind, um, one of the priorities that we have, especially on communication, is to reach out to each and every one of you to offer you a platform that can be a sharing space, a meeting space, a community space. We have much to be proud of so far, but we have so much work to do, not just at the whole society level, but also in our responsibility to get involved, each and every one of us individually in our own communities. For example, with regional events or just with bringing Isocarp closer to cities where it has not been that represented or countries. Uh, we do hope that 2023 is going to be the year of the best Congress yet, and we hope to see you there. And in the meantime, what we want to do is just to wish you happy holidays and a wonderful new year, and um, let's grow the society. Dear ISOCARP colleagues, many greetings from the Rams Valley in Germany. I think this year has been very difficult, but still I think we have achieved great things. And that proves that we are strong together. I want to thank you for being so loyal to the society and for sticking to our ideals 
and for what we want. I want to wish you all the best for 2023, that we still grow together, strong, and we achieve great things together. Dear colleagues, friends from Isocard family, this is Ali al -Urf. I'm a professor of architecture and urbanism, and I'm extremely proud Isocard board members. I'm uh, wearing my red t-shirt to celebrate the festive uh, days and wishing all of you wonderful, wonderful time with your friends and loved ones. But I'm recording this message from or in front of Lausanne Stadium, where the final of the FIFA 2022 just finished. Uh, I was deeply involved in the organizational and also some voluntary work, and I witnessed closely the incredible spirit that Qatar and Doha witnessed through the 28 days where the competition took place. The beauty of the event is not only about great football, but how people from different countries, religions, cultures, ethnic groups, races, and colors are mingling together, exchanging culture, memories, get a first-hand experience of the global humanity, literally the global humanity. And we do understand that all of us, we belong to the same family. My point, as I was thinking about this literally on a daily basis through our decompetition, that Isocarp is also aspiring to this level of inclusivity, regionalization, and globalization. Isocarp started its new president and board. They started a new chapter to move Isocarp from Europe-centered society to a more to global society with a representation in every region all over the world. Please spread the word about our new identity. Invite colleagues to join, participate, and engage in all our activities, words, seminars, conference, publications. It's our collective responsibility to get together and move Isocarp to its regional slash global responsibility. It's not a board responsibility. It's not a country representative responsibility. It's the responsibility of every single member in Isocarp. Let's all of us cooperate in writing this new chapter to make every single event of Isocarp so identical to the FIFA experience that I've witnessed. It's about everyone and it's so inclusive. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful year and enjoy. Stay happy and healthy.